What's up guys, Dan Watson. This is the Xeon Crane Gimbal. And if you've been watching my videos for any length of time, you've seen this a couple times before, namely because this is now my gimbal of choice. This is the one that I actually use personally for pretty much all my video projects, shooting weddings, anything like that. This is what I take along. So I wanted to kind of do a full review on it, tell you why I use this gimbal and my observation. Now, I've been using this for a couple of months now. This was not just a normal review for me. This was a whether or not I could actually implement this gimbal into my actual shooting. So a little bit different. I have tried a lot of gimbals in the past. I've gone from anything from the Ronin M down to some cheaper $500 gimbals. And I will say it has been a mixed bag for me. While I liked some of them and saw the advantages of them like the Ronin M, some of them didn't personally fit into my style shooting and what I was looking for. So it was a great gimbal, it just did not work for me. Now what I am shooting, uh, I do a lot of weddings and so that is kind of the primary reason, but I wanted something very portable that I could take with me, I could fit in a bag that I could use for personal stuff if I wanted to, and then also fit those kind of uh, wedding type ceremonies where I, I do need to be portable as well, but I need to be able to carry a decent camera on them. I do have options like this that I use all the time to be able to hold that thing for a little bit longer with two hands. And so I wanted to kind of give you my rundown of this, uh, tons of footage on this as well. Now, hardware wise, this is the best gimbal I have used. It is all metal construction. Uh, you also have a nice grip on here. These are not as rubbery as they could be to kind of make it a little bit easier to hold, but overall it is an excellent, excellent gimbal from a well-made perspective. Another thing that you're gonna get on this one is that this thing can rotate 360 degrees. So try doing that with anything else and all of these motors can do this. So there are no exposed wires. There is nothing limited about this. The other nice thing that I appreciate about this one a little bit more is that the motor can be mounted on the right. I use a lot of mirrorless cameras with flip out screens. So um, this is not the main one I have on here. The main one is the one I'm shooting with, which is the Panasonic G7 I use in there a lot. I got the GH5 on pre-order, so that will be the new one that goes on here. And overall, it works extremely well with that motor on the right and being able to see and access all of my images on here. Another thing that's nice is when you touch this thing, it doesn't go flip out on you and vibrations and all that kind of stuff. I had that on some of the cheaper ones. You started messing with this and touching it and it would just completely flip out on you and do some weird things. And another thing that you will see is that I'm gonna turn this thing off. This is not balanced at all right now. And the only axis that's not balanced is actually this one. And I'll tell you why in a minute, but overall it is still able to hold that. In fact, this will work up to 2.6 pounds, which is very nice. Now for adjusting this thing, there are set screws on all of these and I do think that they work extremely well. Loosen it, uh, the track is ex extremely smooth and you just tighten it back up. So it's very quick and easy to have balanced. I can normally balance this thing in about two minutes. So many of the other ones you had to go into the apps and then there would be limitations. You couldn't use them with iPhones and you had to download these APK files, which I hate doing because of security risks on doing that. Xeon has an app right in the app store. It works for both Android and iPhone. It connected no problem to me. And uh, there's a USB connection for doing firmware updates as well, which I was able to do with no problem. So overall, functionally wise, it is just miles ahead of some of the other competition in this range. This is 650 bucks and you can get a bunch of accessories like cases, remotes, and things like this as well for it. So really, really cool system. Another thing that's nice about the hardware is you do have a quarter inch mounting plate on this, which is extremely nice to have. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn this one off and I'm gonna tell you about my only limitation on this one. So when you have, if you kind of see the, this, how this works, when you have the motor on the right, you don't have very much room to mount this thing forward. That was the only thing is that there's a little bit of limit to how far it can go in the front, depending on how you use this. If you have the motor on the right, you are a little bit more limited. If you use the motor on the left, you are not. The other thing that's kind of a little bit negative to me is most of the time I was using this, I probably had it out around here. And if you notice when this thing comes around, it actually hits. I wish this was about a quarter inch longer and could give me that room that I could flip this thing around. That was the only thing that was a little bit annoying to me. Now, it all depends on the kind of camera that you have. If you are uh, heavy on this side, then you would be fine. If you are heavy on the other side, then you're gonna want to adjust this thing out a little bit more to compensate, and that's when you have that. When this thing is mounted a little bit more in, probably the halfway point, 
you can flip this thing around. And like I said, this thing is endless. So there is no worry about mixing up these motors and locking them or anything like that, which is really, really nice. Battery life on this thing has been great for me. I do a full wedding with one set of batteries. Now I do wanna show you this double hand grip right here. I end up using this a lot right now. And basically my reasoning is this. Uh, whenever I use this thing with one handle, the motion is extremely smooth, but what you do notice is up and down movement when your hand kind of bounces. I don't find that having two hands here really helps that. I do find that when I have two hands here, it does, because as my body moves, even if one hand kind of sinks, the other one does not. And that kind of keeps my center the same, and the, the gimbal will basically adjust for that. And when I bounce with this foot, then my gimbal stays the same. So if you're not a really good at that kind of ninja walk thing, this is a really good setup for you right here. It allows you, everything is adjustable and your heights and everything like this it is a good, good system. Now, the only thing I do wish is that we had a remote that was a little easier to access. When I have it here, I have to go kind of one handed like this and it's not as ideal if you need to use that. Now you do have a remote, which is right here and it does work very well. However, you do not have the ability to mount this to anything. So it would be nice if they came out with something that mounted onto here. It looks like these are threaded ends right in this and this one as well. So it could be really cool to have something mounted right onto the end of this. I mean, overall guys, you cannot go wrong with this thing. This is the best gimbal I have used, especially when you're considering that price. It works so unbelievably. I love that it works with my flip out screen phone or cameras. And so if you're using anything like that, this is really a must have. And like I said, my battery life has been great, but if you pick up two spare batteries, it's really easy to change these things out in, in the middle of the field. The charger uh, is just uh, micro USB powered as well. So you can bring that and port that around easily. Anywhere you have micro SD, uh, micro USB access, you can basically be charging those batteries with that charger that it comes with. Now controls wise, you do have an on off switch right here and then you do have the joystick. Okay, joysticks are probably not my favorite. I, at least it's my coffee infused hands or whatever it is, I cannot keep a very consistent motion. If basically how this works is it's sensitive to how far up and down you are. So if you push it up a little bit, it's a little bit slow. And if you push it up all the way, it goes a little bit faster. You can fine tune all of this stuff in the app. This is the best app I've used as well for fine tuning it. It's very easy to use. All of your controls are there. In fact, you can even access these kind of remote settings straight from the app and be able to control it remotely. It has never failed me when it comes to pairing. It is a great app. Uh, another limitation I would say is that um, as some of the uh, documentation for this is a little bit more difficult to understand. I was written, it looks like it's translated from another language. So, But I've had no problem figuring it all out. Uh, again, I've even done a firmware update on this just because one came out and I could and it's USB. It took about 15 minutes. It wasn't a problem at all. So overall, I've had extremely good luck on this gimbal. Okay, so I throw this thing around like crazy. This is extremely heavy duty. I can't, I mean, none of this has had any scarring. I've had this thing for months with a ton of different cameras on and off that thing. This has gotten a beating and has stood up to all of it. So very, very heavy duty. The build quality in this is amazing. It's it's not super light because it is all metal, but it's, a, it's definitely usable for hand holding this thing. So, yep, that is it for this review. Definitely check out the footage of this. You're gonna see this being shot with a lot. If you have any questions, definitely hit me up on this one. Uh, but overall, I mean, this is one of the most uh, nicest products that I have been expecting because it has not just been a nice product to review, but it has changed the way that I am shooting. And I am now able to shoot with gimbals a lot more and run and gun style in, uh, even if it's just me shooting, I'm able to port this around and be able to go from a tripod, a quarter 20 in the bottom. I can mount this to a tripod, leave it sitting there, control it remotely. There are so many options. So it's really changed the way that I shoot. And so it's been a big benefit for my business as well. So that's it. Uh, a lot of videos coming up. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe, hit like, check out the links below to buy this thing and stay tuned for next time.